All right guys welcome back Dr. Apurva here a medical graduate from India. This is going to be a very quick video on how I used to take notes with the help of good notes while my step 1 preparation okay. So let us get started so this is my step 1 first aid folder okay and I had divided everything system wise like for example CVS, musculoskeletal system, microbiology, renal and public health science okay. Now let us just first look at musculoskeletal system because this is the place where you need a very good visual information. Let us start with the anatomy. Like for example if I am learning any uh, any topic like for example if you are learning about arm abduction right okay and this thing mentions about trapezius and the question of origin and insertion was asked in one of the NBMEs the older one of NBME and so I added a visual a clue to this image so adding a visual clue to your learning text will always aid in your memory that if you are if you are adding the image of trapezius origin and insertion here and you can know how the spinal accessory nerve is supplying the trapezius this will always be useful for you when you get questions next one is like if you are learning about rotator cuff muscles i had images of relevant rotator cuff muscles which will aid to your visual memory like this is the quadrangular space from where the axillary nerve passes okay and this is the space from and this one is the space where the radial nerve passes so if you add uh, images along with your text this will be very good now in some nbmes uh, they expect you to know some extraordinary things like this was asked in one of the nbmes what is the empty can test for supraspinatus so this was the googled image which you can add to your notes okay so like if you are learning about the uh, what is the treatment of literal epicondylitis so you can add this image that you can give long acting glucocorticoids if somebody is having lateral epicondylitis so this is kind of good to uh, condense the inform condense your information at very one place you can make your own notes as well for some specific topics like if you are studying about lunate dislocation you can add ap and lateral x-ray this is the spilled teacup sign of lunate dislocation which can cause acute carpal tunnel syndrome okay and this is the uh, signs and the motor sign which the patient will not be able to do like he won't be able to do a position of the thumb because of acute carpal tunnel syndrome so if you add everything at one place this will be very helpful to you make to, to make a differential diagnosis by solving any questions be it of self-assessment or NBMEs or while giving your real USMLE step 1 examination because you'll have to be real quick if you if you read the question stem immediately you have to come to an answer and then look at the options okay so if you go through this method you'll be least confused with the options which were given in your answer choices okay now let us move towards my favorite thing because if you're learning about certain nerves of upper limb everything has to be kept at one place so this is my everything about median nerve at one place if you are learning about median nerve this is its root value now what are the causes of proximal median nerve lesion you can add it here like supracondylar fracture or the median nerve can be entrapped between the two heads of pronator teres now this is the respective x-ray of supracondylar fracture now this was asked in nbme that where the median nerve travels so it travels between the flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus okay these are the causes of distal median nerve lesion carpal tunnel syndrome and if somebody is having a suicide attempt okay so if you add and note everything along with the images this will add a great memory to your learning system okay so everything at one place about all the nerves okay this is what i love about good nose okay so that was all about the musculoskeletal system now let us switch towards the cardiovascular system one of the most lovely thing about good notes it's is it can also search your handwritten notes like if you just type shock here it will show all the results of shock including your handwritten notes like i wrote shock here okay so it will also search your handwritten notes as well so you can keep on searching wherever the shock comes it will show you now this is my one page cheat sheet of shock if you are learning about shock you can come here and consult here that what will happen in hypovolemic shock you can do a tilt test here what will happen in cardiogenic shock obstructive shock what will happen in right heart, right sided heart failure septic shock everything about shock at one place 
so if you put images and put every stuff at one place along with the questions how NBMEs and you world are asking the questions it will be very much helpful for you to recollect the information while giving exam this was everything about infective endocarditis okay so every every signs and symptoms of infective endocarditis at one place i also wrote some questions which were asked of relevant topics like this was the question of pericarditis how will the patient of pericarditis present how will the patient of pericarditis have complications and how will they come complain like they will complain of sharp radiating pain to neck and the positional pleuritic chest pain and stuff like that okay so this is all about rheumatic fever at one place so everything at one place will make your life much more simpler all right guys that was all about my quick overview of how I used good notes for annoting first aid and which helped a lot in my USMLE step 1 journey. I hope this inspires you and makes you feel motivated. So if you have any queries please leave them in the comment section below if you want to know anything. You can also follow me on Instagram and I'll be happy to answer your queries in Instagram as well okay now my preferred mode of contact is instagram only so because i can quickly record a voice message and send it to you all right guys thanks for watching have a great day do subscribe bye bye